quick tip for this this mostly a lot of, a lot applies to Facebook, but it really kind of applies across the board. Uh, I've been using a service called NewsGuard. So again, you know, we talk about false information and things out there. Um, it, it will vet the source. Uh, and if you have the the browser extension in Chrome or Firefox, you'll get a little kind of marker by everything that's a link out. That's a news article for the most part. And it'll let you know, like, hey, this is a trusted source. Hey, this is not a trusted source. You know, and they'll, they and they have criteria, like, you know, good journalism criteria about how they they follow up and retract and 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 talk about who the who the source is and everything like that um it's called newsguard it's like three bucks a month um the app on your phone you can just like copy and paste a a website into it like you know from your share or something like that um but it's very helpful if you are seeing a lot of crazy stuff out there on your social media so just to to inform because some people are sharing and don't know like literally you know don't know like i don't know how many times i'd be like hey i don't think this is right you know i don't say you know one big thing for me is I don't say you're an idiot for posting this or anything like that. It's like, hey, I don't think this is right, and this might be why, and maybe link another source um, mm-hmm. for something like that. That's been my process. It's mostly worked out pretty well, but you know, you know that that's that's there. Um, Twitter, 